Dear Reverend Father Jesus Vardakundi, Reverend Sisters, dear teachers and other members of the staff. At the outset, let me wish all of you a very happy Teacher's Day. I pray the Almighty to shower blessings on each one of you on this auspicious occasion. Usually on 5th September, we celebrate Teacher's Day in memory of the second President of India, Dr. Sarvapalli Radhakrishnan, on his birth anniversary. According to Dr. Radhakrishnan, teachers must be the best mind in the country. And I am sure I am working with some of the best minds in the country at St. Joseph's School. Paying rich tributes to Dr. Dhaka Krishna, the first Prime Minister of the country, Pandit Jagadarlal Nehru said, Dr. Dhaka Krishna has served his country in many capacities. But above all, he is a great teacher from whom all of us have learned much and will continue to learn. It is India's peculiar privilege to have a great philosopher, a great educationist and a great humanist as a president. The one and the only Mahatma Gandhi, father of our nation, held the teachers always in high esteem. Let me quote Gandhiji. A teacher who establishes rapport with the top becomes one with them, learns more from them than he or she teaches them. He who learns nothing from his or her disciple is, in my opinion, worthless. Whenever I talk with someone, I learn from that person. I take from her more than I give her. In Narayana Murthy, founder of Infosys has a good message for the teachers. He wrote in his famous book, A Better India, A Better World. Children are keen observers. They want the principal and the teachers to be epitome of all that is good. Teachers are their heroes. If they do not see their teachers walk the talk, they will lose faith. So the teachers must embrace good values, merit, honesty and hard work and must be seen as being unbiased. Speaking on the occasion of the teacher's day, September 5, 2020, his Excellency Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of India said, We remain grateful to the hard-working teachers for their contribution towards shaping minds and building our nation. Yes, my dear teachers, we are collaborating in nation building and that is reaffirmed by none other than the Prime Minister of uh, the country. 
A huge responsibility is laid on us, and probably the letter written by a parent to his son's teacher vividly narrates the expectations of a parent. The 16th President of uh, United States of America, Abraham Lincoln, wrote to his son's teacher, Dear teacher, my son will have to learn, I know, that all men are not just, all men are not true. But teach him also that for every scoundrel there is a hero, that for every selfish politician there is a dedicated leader, for every enemy In the school, teach him. It is far honorable to fail than to cheat. Teach him to have faith in his own ideas. Even if everyone tells him they are wrong. Try to give my son the strength not to follow the crowd. Teach him to close his ears to a howling mob and to stand and fight if he thinks he is right. Teach him, if you can, how to love when he is sad. Teach him there is no shame in tears. The president does not ask the teachers to teach his son physics or mathematics, chemistry or biology, English or computer, because these are assured in school without a mention. I am sure my colleagues, the teachers of St. Joseph's School, continue to make an impact on the lives of the students given to their care. My teachers ignite the spark. My teachers are surrounded with love. My teachers get to celebrate milestones. My teachers get to love all day long. My teachers create their own work environment. My teachers inspire others. My teachers feed their inner creativity. My teachers have an exciting day and an exciting day every day. And my teachers get lasting memories to cherish forever. Let all of you happy Teacher's Day. Thank you. Oh